tuned in to one of the hottest online publications that there is, Vocab Magazine, and I'm your host, Mr. Vocab TV Tali. And standing to my right, you can see the beautiful Nima Kamar and, of course, Iman Shumpert. And we had Nima's Boom Boom Room in the Flatiron District. So we want to talk about, you know, you having these special, you know, guests come to the host and as well as the artists that come to perform. Um, yeah, this is a showcase I've been doing for about four months now, um, giving unsigned artists opportunities to be seen in front of different A&Rs the tastemakers in New York and I have different celebrities sometimes athletes come out and host it and you'd be surprised some of our athletes are actually pretty talented you yeah, guys gonna get to see you know, tonight. been a friend of me since I got to New York uh, you know seen her around and you know always full of life and uh, you know she's looked out for me a lot while I've been out here so you know at least I could do is come show love at an event and you know the fact that she's giving me a microphone to host it you know make me smile so I'm happy to be here yeah, absolutely. So you want to talk to us about, you know, the plateaus you plan on reaching with Nima's Boom Boom Room? Um, well, I'm currently looking to, I, I wanted to grow, but I wanted to, I like where, where we're at now because um, I want it to be intimate. I want it to only be real talent. I don't want it to turn into something where we, anyway. So we're going to start small and eventually I'm going to get bigger sponsors and bigger artists to, to host and uh, perform. We'll get there, but right now... I want it to be where we are. You are a real musician, a real artist. If you can really sing, I don't care if you have abs and you can put out a music video, send me, send me um, live stuff at nemusboomboomroom at gmail.com and we'll take a look at it and we'll you know, hopefully get you an audition and get you on the show. Or if, or if Kendrick Lamar want to come, if yeah. Kendrick Lamar wants to come. We want to you know, wish you all the best for the playoffs, Amon. So, so what can we expect? We going to get that lockdown defense that we used to from you? <laughs> oh yeah, man, we're going we gonna to get it done, man. We, we, got, we got Boston in the first round. We're going to try and clean up on, uh, on Atlanta tomorrow and you know, get Boston in the first round and keep well, it moving. Tonight man. is different for me because I'm hosting mainly. Um, I'll also be performing just because I can't be by mic and not saying something. <laughs> but I'm mainly here to host tonight, which is which is fun because I'm I'm an artist first, and being asked to host a lot of events lately, and I'm finding it's like a new hidden talent that I have. So it should be cool. You get to see two sides of me tonight: hosting and performing. Yeah, absolutely. It should be good, you know, with the combination of yourself and Iman Shumper. So, um, you know, for some of the fans and followers that want to get more in tune with Lydia Season and hear some of your music, which I have gotten to do recently, would you like to open up some of your um, platforms and outlets to where they can follow you on Twitter, Instagram, and things of that nature? Absolutely. Um, my Twitter is at Lydia Caesar. Um, Instagram is Miss Caesar. I have a website as well, LydiaCaesarMusic.com. Um, my album Caesar is on iTunes, so you can search Lydia Caesar on iTunes and get the album. Um, um, the important songs, they're all important, but St. Louis is my single, as well as a lottery. So if you want to just buy those two, I ain't mad at you. So yeah. We have Jay Nice, so what can the crowd look forward to, to this evening? Uh, you can look forward for a dude from Brooklyn, New York, about to come through and put it down on the stage like he always does. So what kind of music are you bringing to us? We know it's going to be some kind of soulful R&B, but like, how would you, who would you compare yourself to? Wow, compare myself to? Uh, I don't know if I compare myself to, but people that I look up to is like Stevie Wonder kind of style, if you want to talk about old school, but you know, today... You know, I like the little Chris Browns and, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I, love, I like him as an artist. I love his style and everything. So, I don't know. I don't know if I could compare myself with the brother, but, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing what Jay Nice is going to bring to the stage. So, you know, for any of the new fans and followers that want to get more in tune, you want to open up some of your social platforms to where they can follow you on Twitter, Instagram, and things of that nature? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Jay Nice, that's J-A-Y-N-Y-S-E, or Instagram. All right, feedback. Now, this might go. But um, uh, Instagram, you can find me at J underscore Nice. And what, what you said, Twitter? Twitter, J Nice 80. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff going on. But, yeah, you find I'm standing to my left, we have Tess. So, talk to us a little bit about what's going on with you and your projects and what can we expect from you tonight? Oh, my goodness. Well, you're definitely going to expect the real. I, try, I pretty much keep that consistent. Um, and I'm out here grinding, trying to promote this project, man. It's, it's all about the single right now. Whore, you already know. Oh, yeah, go get that. iTunes. 
Bandcamp. Now let's talk about that project and you know what inspired it. What inspired it was my life, really. It was it was pretty much the name is Tess is an introduction to my life as an artist. Let's put it like that. I feel like it's the first real representation of my sound, which I call hip rock and B, and it's it's fusion based and in your face. Like it's not about separating genres, it's about capturing the vibe that each genre brings and kind of presenting it in a way that is, 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 is soothing to the ear. Maybe not so soothing all the time, maybe we want to turn up, but you know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's definitely, it definitely is soothing and it has a real edgy feel to it and something new that's being offered to a lot of the ears like myself that's getting tired of hearing the same old. Thank so, you. So yes. for some of the you know fans and followers at Vocab Magazine, I want to get more in tune with you and follow you and things of that nature. You want to open up your platforms? Um, please check me out at www.thenameassess.com or at me on Twitter, The Name Assess, or on Instagram, The Name Assess. Just Google The Name Assess and I will come up. Uh, something really sexy planned for you guys. I'm opening up with a little bit of a surprise. It's a little bit unexpected, but I think people really, really like it. And then I'm going into two original songs that will be on my upcoming project, Live to Shine. All right, so speaking of your upcoming project, you want to give out some of the outlets for all of the new fans and followers at Vocab that would like to get more in tune with yourself and your project? Absolutely. So you can follow me on Twitter at M-S-N-O-N-E, at Miss Noni. Follow me on Instagram, that is at Noni Pix, N-O-N-E-P-I-X. Or you can like my Facebook page, N-O-N-E. You can also find out about me. I'm a BET Music Matters artist, so go to BET.com slash Music Matters. They have a cute little profile on me there, so check it so out. So talk about, you know, the connection with you and Nima. Right, so um, I just got connected, I guess, through the grapevine, through Nima a couple of weeks ago when she asked me to perform at her Boom Boom Room. I really, like, admire her and her just, like, dedication to showcasing brand new artists, and she's, like, She's got her stuff together. Like, I always look up to women like that, and I appreciate her for inviting me down here. Toshi's is such a great venue, and the sound is amazing. Like, as an unsigned new artist, you're always looking for places where the production value is great. We can get great pictures. They have a red carpet. Like, she's really got it together, so I give it up to her. Thank you so much, Nima, for inviting me. Folks, we're still here at Nima's Boom Boom Room in the Flatiron District at Toshi's Playhouse. And as you can hear in the background, showtime is about to begin. And standing to my left, we have Marcus Johnson. He's going to be playing that sexy instrument, you know, the saxophone. And he's going to be getting busy with Jay Nice. So let's talk about some of the things that you're doing and, you know, how you and Jay Nice came together. Uh, when I first moved here to New York, man, that was like one of the first people I met. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, man. So working on my first album now, man, doing a little touring and stuff like that, man. So just smooth jazz, marketjohnson.net, just making things happen. Absolutely. So are you going to get a solo during the performance this time, huh? Yeah, man, I'm going uh, I'm to do a little couple things for the people, man. Hopefully I can get the ladies, man, you know. See what they got going on, man. He's playing the saxophone right now, so we already know the ladies is on lock. So for all of the new fans and followers in Vocab Magazine that want to get more in tune with Marcus Johnson and the things that you do, you want to open up some of your social platforms? Yeah, man. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Marcus on the sax. At Marcus on the sax, man. Come check me out. Come into the world of jazz, man. MarcusJohnson.net.